is officially here in Los Angeles. As many of you guys know, I just moved here from Florida to LA. Now, I was on a trip in Bali, which was absolutely amazing. I need to update you guys on so many things in this vlog, okay? Today, I just wanted to talk solely all about my experience with flying with a dog for the very first time and how I fly with a dog because I got a lot of questions on my Instagram. How is that possible? I didn't know dogs could go in a cabin, blah, 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 blah. Any tips, any tricks? Well, yes, honey. Oh my God, we traveled from Florida to Los Angeles, which is a five hour flight, people. It's a very long flight for a fatty like this one. Morning, you guys. Dennis and I are both very tired. I'm still jet lagged from Bali and today is the day that Jupiter flies back to LA with us. I'm nervous, but I'm also trying not to portray that emotion onto him because I've heard that you can get them kind of nervous. So I have all his stuff in this little baggie. I have all his toys, his treats, and I even have this little mat for him to lay on. So fingers crossed, everything goes really, really well. We are on our way. He's tired. We gave him a nice little run, little. More like a one hour run to get out all this energy. Yeah. Very first thing that I learned was the night before your flight, you need to fast your pet. Now, this is something that is at your own discretion. Ask your vet, ask, you know, ask someone that you trust. But I chose to do this because I didn't want Jupiter pooping up a storm or peeing up a storm in the plane. So what we ended up doing to get all of Jupiter's energy out was running him. My dad was kind enough to run him because again, I had just arrived from Bali. I was jet lagged girl. And so we ran him for about an hour. Now, when I arrived at the airport, I realized that wasn't enough time because Jupiter was very antsy. He was very like, you know, just like alert. Everything was like, it's just a lot when you're at an airport. It's one of those vests that you can actually put anything that you want right here. So what we decided to put here was do not pet. And the reason we did that is because Jupiter is a very excited dog, as you can see. If people see him, everybody wants to touch him. He's so cute and I'm totally cool with that, except not at airports because I'm trying to keep him calm. I'm trying to keep myself calm. I'm trying to walk through security without having everyone touch him, pet him, overly excite him. So we chose to put a do not pet vest on. That just kind of lets people know, hey, you know, off limits, do not touch him, just let him focus. And it just makes your job a lot easier as a pet owner to walk through without, again, like literally everyone's hands will be on your pet. And another thing that I did that I really enjoyed was I actually had Jupiter carry all of his primary things. So I purchased these two little bags like this that go on his vest. They just attach like that and they're at his side, kind of like this. It looks really cute. They look like little like police dogs. It's the cutest thing ever. And what I did is I just put the most essential things. So I put things like treats to entertain them, which he did not take on the airplane. I was so angry. When you go through TSA, 
free. Just know that you actually have to walk through by yourself. You have to leave your dog there. You have to tell him to sit, to stay, and then he has to walk through. You know the little metal detectors? Yeah, they have to walk through. To me, that was a little bit of a surprise. I had, my intention was for Jupiter to do that perfectly and everything just went wrong. Like just expect the unexpected. Thankfully there wasn't a lot of people and thankfully we had TSA pre because that is another thing. If you are going through, um, you know, the, the typical line, there's gonna be a lot of people. People are very anxious. They're gonna want you to rush and you don't wanna be rushing with the dog. So with Jupiter, I just pretty much, I took the harness off. I will say I was really, really nervous because this is my first time flying with him and so I almost feel like I just went on like autopilot mode I took off his vest I went in myself and then all of a sudden Jupiter's following me in the TSA people were very nice and they were laughing and then they were like nope gotta get him go out sit stay the point is Jupiter wasn't doing it he's usually really really great with commands and he just wasn't doing it and I also had a little treat on hand to help him get through but again just expect the unexpected Make sure your dog goes potty before. You no, know, we knew this ourselves. We tried to get him to go potty. He wasn't doing it in the morning, so we were like, all right, he should be fine because you know he already did. He went potty eight hours before. He hasn't ate anything eight for eight hours, and so we should be good. But no, he was not good. So whatever you do, do not get on that plane unless your dog has gone to the bathroom. Whatever you do, don't do it, okay? I also being the worried mother that I am, I overpacked a lot, like way too much. This is another thing I don't recommend you to do. I took this, like this entire backpack was full, this big of just Jupiter stuff, of things he didn't use, of things, you literally rejected everything that I gave you, Jupiter, literally everything. Um, I took way too much for him. I bought these really funny little dog ear mufflers. I was like, oh, he might be a little bit like, <laughs> sensitive to to the altitude or whatever he didn't use this just don't get it okay get your dog their favorite treats jupiter had never tried these treats so he wasn't really all about it he did however like these little mini bites these right here he loved those but i already knew that he liked those uh, what I opted to do was I actually gave him little ice cubes that he was munching on and kind of you know just salivating and it was really great Another tip that I have is if your dog is as big as Jupiter, Jupiter is roughly 85 pounds. He's lost five pounds, he used to be 90, so hallelujah. He is 85 pounds. If your dog is that, a large dog, I highly, highly recommend you to get business class. I know it's expensive, but honestly, I don't know how Jupiter would have fit typically under a little seat because they have to go under the seat okay so for business class at least you have a little bit of leeway and as you can see there wasn't that much room and what was funny is you know i was traveling with dennis as well jupiter just kept wanting to get all up in his area all up in his business so he had literally no room which kind of sucked was probably one of the best things that I purchased for him on this entire flight because if you have a dog like Jupiter that sheds like a mother then you are gonna want to get something like this so what I did with this was you know I just placed it on the floor and I still have not look at this look at how much hair there is on this this I somewhat cleaned it. This was way worse. Something happens up there in the plane where they just shed like no one's business. So this helps so much in just keeping our space a little bit clean. And then after what we just ended up doing is grabbing a lint roller, which I highly recommend you to get. And the ladies on the plane were really, really grateful for us for cleaning up. They were like, oh my God, you don't know how many people come here and don't clean up after their dogs. And we were like, trust me, I get it. Because there was just hair everywhere and Jupiter would just, it was a lot. Please just brush your dog a few days prior to getting on the plane so that it's not all over the place. I didn't do this and I really regretted it. There was hair everywhere. He was shedding like no one's business. It's just good to... So my experience with Jupiter on the plane was a little bit crazy to say the least because I was already really nervous to travel with him. I wanted everything to go right. I was like a super rigid, high stress mom. I was like, you know, I want, I want people to think he's such a great dog and I want to make sure that he doesn't disturb anyone and I want to make sure that all the passengers are comfortable and he's not barking up a storm. Well, none of that happened. Let's just say that. Is that just the fly that went by?
only barked one time. And this is a big tip I'm about to give you right here, okay? Whatever you do when you're on the plane, don't look at your dog. Don't look at them. And I know that's weird, but this is what ends up happening. Your dog is already a little bit stressed out. And so when you look at the dog, when you look at your pet, you're like, okay, I'm here, I'm attentive to you, what do you need? And so then they start vocalizing. They start, well, at least Jupiter is that way. He'll start <sighs> putting his paw on me. I wanna get up, I wanna go poop, you know? And so what I did, and I told Dennis not to do this, I was like, don't stare at him. Dennis stared at him one time. Just one little time. And he was like, what do you want, Jupiter? And Jupiter was like, Ruff. and so he barked just one time. But other than that, he didn't bark at all because we didn't look at him. Now, obviously we were attentive. Obviously we knew what was going on, but we just didn't give him that much eye contact. And when we were going up in the air, like we just don't care. I was just kind of petting him and I wasn't even really talking to him. I was just kind of like petting him, just letting him know that everything's gonna be okay. Some people don't recommend you to actually be like petting your pet. They just say, you know, just kind of leave them alone. But I know my dog and I just kind of take, you know, what's useful for me and then whatever's not useful advice, I just kind of throw it out. So for me personally, that made him feel a lot better. Something that was really great was I was using ice cubes, not only to hydrate him, but also to kind of, just, you know, distract him a little bit since he wasn't taking any of my toys, which I bought him like three new toys. I don't know what he's doing right now. Okay. So now I answer how I do fly with Jupiter. So Jupiter is an emotional support dog. He's an ESA dog, meaning he is with me, he can fly with me anywhere that I want. Now, that is something that there's a specific process on how to go through that. So I was going to a psychiatrist. I kind of let him know, hey, you know, uh, I'm dealing with this emotionally and, and going through this. And it, I mean, it's a lot more developed than just what I'm saying right now. But um, pretty much you meet with a psychiatrist and you let him know, you know, why your dog allows you to feel better and um, process emotions better and just be more calm. So. If you guys want a separate video on that, I can also do that. I know that's a little bit controversial. Some people don't really like to talk about that stuff, but I'm kind of an open book. I feel like, why not? Like, just share information, people. Don't keep it all to yourself. Now, Jupiter will be flying back and forth with me from Florida to LA, LA to Florida, and we shall see how things will go. But I am planning on doing a whole separate video on this on my main channel, Natalie's Outlet, on just like tips and tricks, do's and don'ts on how to travel with a pet. I feel like it's so important, and it's actually really useful information. So if you want to see that, give it a thumbs up. This was our experience. I also want to show you guys some of the vlogs that I got while I was over at Bali, it was so amazing, so beautiful, just incredible. And those will be coming up next, so that's what's popping right now. All right, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a part of the family, subscribe to the Natalie and Dennis show. We post new vlogs weekly. Jabur, don't say bye. Can you please say bye? 85 pounds of fatness right here, just pure fluffy. Fluffy fatness. Oh, you're so fat and I love it. You're so fat and I love it so much. Just fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. fluffy.